might find offensive for the love of the game. As the crow flies, it's just three miles from Manchester United's Old Trafford ground to Littleton Road playing fields. Yet in footballing terms, the Premier League and the Salford Sunday League are worlds apart. At this level, the football is played purely for the love of the game. Shut up, you soft get. Salford Snooker play in the fourth division of the Salford Sunday League. They're the team that Billy built. Get your heads up, you bunch of the driving force is Boise, a Brian Robson style figure, captain and player manager. Salford Snooker have been going for three years. Undoubtedly, the man with the hardest job is Big Eddie. He tries to keep the ball out of the net. Morgie's the sniffer, the centre forward. His job is to stick it in at the other end. And at the back is the rock, Mr. Angry himself. That's Becky. What about preparations for the game? Is it, is it strict? No, no. Yeah, it is strict. You must report in the farmer's arms at 7 o'clock on Saturday night. Have about 10 or 12 bitters and then uh, get that, yeah. 10.30, Sunday morning. We're half an hour away from kick-off in the Salford Sunday League. We're talking football, though, not snooker. And inside this building is our team. 11 men getting changed in here because the dressing rooms at their local pitch have just been burned down. All right, where's my trainer? Well, Eddie, Eddie's in goal. If you shut up a minute. I'll start with Morgan, left back there. Instead of Dave. Gary Pratt, Gary Ward and Sheffer in the middle. I'll start with Thorpey, Mark and uh, you put a kit on Daz. Start with you up front as well. I'll be sub and uh, Dave as well. You guys are drunk. Billy! No problem. Here's Morgan's here's Morgi signing on fee, lads. <laughs> Three pounds. Someone upstairs. What does that say? Well, I've got it in the car. What does that say? Four pound it is now. It's gone up. <laughs> it's going to be a tough match, I think. First game of the season. Did you take your glasses off to play? Certainly, yeah. Can't play now. Can I look at the state of them? Jack Duck will feed your heart out. Um, I've, got a, I've got a buckle over it. You've got a buckle over it? Yeah. It's to protecting my head. <laughs> Straight up, yeah. When, when did that happen? When? Last Saturday. So you've got to wear... In here. In here, in here. <laughs> yeah. What, what happened? Tell me what happened. Uh, I can't really give you the full details because the police inquiries are going on at the moment, you know. But uh, basically there was a fracas in the, in the, uh, in the snooker hall and um, it went off. Three of them, three of them set about me. And uh, I got a buckle over my head. Well, it meant for my head. I wanted to put my hand up. And um, ended up in Old Hospital, Wellington Hospital. Micro surgery. His wife was four days from giving birth, but he still had her out on the piss. <laughs> he did? Couldn't believe it, he come over. Two orange juices and had a floppy head. <laughs> and then he's trying to he's starting to say hello, and that was too hard. I said, Hiya Wally, and he couldn't, you know, the question was too hard. Hiya Wally. Hiya. Do you want to get in here? Um, why don't you get them teapots in the back of there? They don't need any winding up, our lad. Whether we're good enough on the day, that's it. It's up to them, innit? I don't mind if, if, if we get beat and everyone's tried and comes off, you know, well gone. Got rid of all last night's keg. Isn't it? You know, if they all come off. That, that, every time I play, I come off absolutely gone. Knackered, you know, gone. Every time. And if, when I stop doing that, I'll, I'll think, well, I've got a packet in there. Hey, want a drink? Sorry, put me. I'm not having a drink again with you. I'm sorry. Sorry, put me swimming trunks in the bag. It's fine. What am I doing? <laughs> Listen, you out next weekend? Yeah, we'll be. There's a shot. What's in that? Dehydration. Yeah. Beer. What? Full of beer. Yeah. The, the... 
they've just had a word with the ref there. Yeah, this automatic, if you nibble somebody from behind, you're straight in the book, so... Just nibble him. Not Whatever. Him down. Whatever, if you nibble him from behind, he's going to book you. Farm yarding, that's got to stop. Even at your own players, Rob. Effing and Jeffy, your own players, you're knackered. That's they're it, not lads. Fuck all, they're all fat. They're all fat, fat as fuck. Come, not one of these are over 24, they're all old bastards. Get them fucking hit, right? Help. Let's get wound up for this, eh? He's Let's right. hit them hard. But you want to win the league, let's go and win it now. Right. First game, yeah. every one we win. No God. more said now, in and out. <laughs> get them sorted, Plenty Gav. Show. Get them Don't just run round with cuckoos in your head. Get stuck in. Don't lose the game. Don't lose the game. Don't run round. No. Don't run round unless you're going to punch in anyone. Eddie, Eddie, a lot of gob. Craig, Craig, got to come across with a play there. You're leaving him short, love. Good play, isn't it? They'll have a bang from there. Good save, lad. Well played, Rob. That's right. That's all right, that. Right, straight. Brilliant. Yes! Great finish, wasn't it? Great finish. Did well. He was coming up at half time, and he did not find that. He's brilliant. Come here, come here. Daz, you've got to get into it now because I'm starting to have a look at you now, otherwise, I might pop on. Keep them going, Mark. You're murdering there at the back. It's coming across. You and Chips are coming across when it's dropping in. Rob, when you're getting the ball, lads, you're breaking well, so keep doing that. Big drag, Rob. Listen, listen, big drag, Rob. Wow, what does that mean? So you're not signed on for us. What is it? Get to there! To there! There's no one showing! Get in here, Mosey. Every fucking ball! Get him out! Stay back in! Yeah! I saw coming in, huh? Get him up! Fucking get him going! What? Hey, come on, get concentrated! Stop it! 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 Hey, oh, Ed, what's going on? Ah, Obviously, we're all piss heads and we can't keep going for 90 minutes. We've had a couple of chances, haven't we? That's good. What's going on, yeah? Do you know what? You're fucking quiet. Come on, eh? Come on, Michael. Get your heads up, eh? Get it. Keep it going. Come on, son. Would you blame yourself for that one, maybe off your line? No. You've got to cut the angle down. No good me standing there, if he's going to shoot on the floor, he's never going to get to it. Oh, man! Yes! 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 My ankle's gone. I couldn't even kick the ball without it. So. All through the game now, he's under bombardment non stop. What went wrong though? Is it, is it just them fitter than you or what? Yeah, the base going into the uh, hotel now. Oh, stop it. Me and Kevin Francis up front, stop Paul, let him know. It's okay, it feels, feels alright. Feels alright, we're with a splint they put on, it's fine. It's more your lungs, I think, were the problem, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, I've not done a tap all year. This is the first thing I've done. I'm not in room, but I think it shows. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll be all right halfway through the season, but then it's too late, isn't it? We're bottom of the table. <laughs> I think we uh, we got four goals in the first, in the second half there. We had three heart attacks and two strokes. So we won on that score, didn't we? Has anyone paid the signing on fees yet, Bill? Get you three quids to sign right, on. Bill. I've left my money in the car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Eddie, Eddie, £26 next week. Because we've only got... Well, there's no game next week. Now, you knew I was on the door, so why don't you pay it? Specky bastard, isn't it? Hitting pain. No, right, £26. Got it? 
Every club in every league needs a Billy. Secretary, organiser, fixer. His main duty though is looking after club funds, collecting subs and more importantly paying fines to the league when players are booked or sent off. That's the bit that really annoys him. Some of them just want to go out and kick him. They forget that some people have got to go to work the next day. Someone's got a mortgage to pay for, and one of our players goes through and breaks his legs. He's knackered. You know, he's going to end up out of home, out of a job, and anything. You know, and it's just silly. All they want to do at the end of the day is go out and play football. But shouldn't you be saying, come on, lads, take it easy? Well, I've told them. I'm sick of telling them. You know, you can only tell them so many times. The secretary is such a key figure in the team's makeup, and while English football once boasted the Charltons, Salford Snooker can turn to the Prats. Billy and brother Gary have been there from the start. And though he doesn't play anymore, Billy's versatility is famous, from kit man to bag man to flag man. I was in charge once, and that's why I passed the book on to Bozy, because I was picking the team as well last season, and it is just too much. You've got players, why am I not playing this week? I thought I had a good game last week. You know, and you pick your best players. I got voted in off the lads while I want here, so I'll say, you know, I'll take it on. You know, I wasn't here when they said, like, Billy was up to here with doing everything. Taking the money, the subs, paying the fines, all that admin, everything. He was doing everything. And he said, yeah, well, I want here, like I say, and they turned up and said, uh, right, well, our boys, he can do it. How do you think you'll go this season? It should do all right. To do all right. As long as everyone, well, they'll all have a crack with it, you see, they'll have a good laugh, so. But it's full go up, isn't it, this time? Full go up, we think, depends who drops out, like I say, so. We should do, uh, we'd be disappointed with what we've got. If we can't go up, we're a shower of shit, really. Well, the biggest transfer of the season so far came just before Christmas, and the Salford Snooker Club up sticks en masse and moved 200 yards across this very car park to here. The railway in, a change of owner over there necessitated a change of venue to here. But the lads say they're very happy because the beer is cheaper, better, and they serve it for longer. Why did you move here? There was no atmosphere in there in the snooker hall, so, and the lads stopped going back in, so it lost a lot of its crap. So uh, he decided to get in here. She's all right, the landlady here, so we have a good crack in it. Yeah, and you're going to change your name? No, but ne next year, for a wind up, we're going to call it Railway Madrid. <laughs> for a wind up. Number two, son. Go on, that's number three. Number, number two, you beauty. You're number three. Come on, that's the other one out. You're on, son. Come on. He's lost his hand. Just get one, come on. Come on, that's. Number 12. Get him, boy. I've lost, well, through my, my own fault in a way, I've lost a lot of players since, the, since you were last down. Must have gone through 20 players now. Why? You can't pick them all, can you? You can't pick, so... I wish it was, I wish it was flexor. I wish it was flexor where you can just think people on. So everyone would stay, but they don't. If you can't pick them, they just call it a day. So how big's the squad now? Oh, we're down to about 13, 14 now. And the one that doesn't get picked is well pissed off. Do you make them when they come in all muddy though? Or what I don't mind, it cleans up at the end of the day, don't it? Where do they get cleaned? In the cellar. Downstairs? <laughs> what else is in the cellar? <laughs> all me booze. <laughs> Magic, see it in the morning, has the kettle on and has a good laugh. Hoses us down after the match sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's the bonus for winning. <laughs> Fucking six you up there, not one of you can hold a bastard ball up. 
It's on the pitch, his foot. You can't hold the ball up at a fucking back neither. We've been under cross for 45 fucking minutes. First goal. It's the first time we've used the grass in the in the match, and um, it come off for us. We just couldn't do it all the time, you know. Um, using the wings, we've got two good wingers, a good centre forward if you can get it to him, like. And uh, the only way through is using the wings. Well, in Morgan, how is he? Morgan, Morgan. Well, in some game, well done. I mean, work commitments. Like I'm doing. 17 hours a day on this, you've got to do taxiing, you've got to put your hours in. I like a booze and, and when I do have a booze it's like for four days, it's not like the odd, um, well, I'll go for a couple of pints, it's a couple of days. I have a good crack when I'm out like, I get a load of uh, bangers from town like which is exploding pens and exploding 50 pence pieces. I love putting them on the bar and watch people pick them up, you know, they always get nosy people and, and that intrigues me, that, that makes me laugh. That's my sense of humour. Having a crack with the, with the people, you know, around town. We once bought a bloke, doll, between us, five of us there was. And we dressed her up, and everywhere we went in town, we sat her down, we bought her a drink. She was on um, Blackcurrant and... Um, Blackcurrant and uh, Rum and Black she was on. Every pub went in. It cost us a fortune that night, honestly. <laughs> we ended up round at the Maypole, like, and... Um, I gave her a rub bite and she went down on me. Popped it. That was the end of her. Oh, I love it. Is this one at Lux? It's yours. I've got mine. You got yours? Yeah. What Chris do you want? I've got mine. You got money? You got money? Yeah, but. Get us a pint then. What? Get us a pint. What, what does it mean to you, football? Everything, really. The old fella brought me on here when he was a kid from the earliest of days I can remember, just kicking a ball about, kicking against the wall. That's the only thing we've ever done, play football in the street. It gets in your blood after a bit. And even if it's just like a kick about with the lads on a Sunday morning, it's just, um, you just got to do it. I, I can't see me hanging my boots up, not ever. Sunday morning at the railway and the talks of Eric Cantona's trials and tribulations on holiday in Guadeloupe. The balloon, snap, loads of talent, and he just snaps at the wrong time. But them reporters should have been out of him, should they? It should be left alone. There's nothing wrong with him, really. I think they should. I think they should sign on for us. He's that. He's nearly that good. Yeah, but they should be leaving him alone anyway. They'll sell him now. They'll him now. There's more chance uh, of winning the lottery than our team not getting bought. It's just over enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there he is, Mr. Attitude. Angry himself. Bad attitude. Who? Becky's been. Uh, did, yeah, Becky got sent off the other week. Somebody put. Somebody. Somebody headbutted him. Somebody headbutted him. Somebody put his cheek on Becky's forehead and he got sent off. Oh, why don't we wait till 10 to 11 so we get fans for the late kickoff? We get an hour to put the next one on my own again. Should we do that? Wait some sense, then we'll get another little key. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Spend enough time. Oh, yeah. the ball, the net. How do you cope with the, the, the young whippersnappers, the young kids? In what way? Can you, can you cope with them? Can you keep up with them? Keep up with them? Let the car, just take the legs. <laughs> <laughs> Simple as that. That's the game, yeah. Yeah, they only get past them once. Do you find people that know you and... Not scared, teams scared of playing us now, yeah. There's plenty of teams in that league really now scared of playing us. Oh, or don't like playing us. Because they think we're going to kick and then we surprise them and play football. And beat them that way. Okay. Sweet kick! Sweet kick! 
We got into the heads of the old one of fight and ridiculous. So what you want to do? You want to try and get into sales? Yeah, um, looking for like a training salesman, you know, rep. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to tell the sales. How long have you been out of work? Two years. So what do you do in the week then? Um, not a lot really. Go for a run or get bored. Eddie. Eric Cantona, it seemed everybody had problems. In many ways, they were just beginning for Salford Snooker after Animal got himself sent off. I kissed uh, a ladder about five minutes previous, but he let the game play because uh, they had the ball. And then he sent you off five minutes later? Yeah. Can you believe it? No. What do you think of the standard of refereeing these days? He's not bad, him. He's one of the better ones. <laughs> He lets a lot go. Do you think you deserve to go? Yeah, I should have gone to start the second half. Oh, the lads apologise, what's he done? Ask yourself that. I'm talking to a team who we know this morning on the way over who played them last week and they said uh, they were a bit physical with them and knocked them about a bit and a few other teams have made comments to us throughout the season. You know, the, the, the league in general is fairly clean. And there's, there's one or two teams who have a reputation and it appears that Salford Snooker seem to be getting the worst one this year. From what you've seen, is it deserved? Um, yeah, a, a, a little bit. I mean, it's silly really because they've got some players there who can play football and I don't think they need to make silly tackles like that. Against nine men, Swinton eventually ran away with it. Without question, it was the low point of the season. just couldn't believe uh, our, our players at the back there from kicking out like that. You know, it's just not... It's not football really. When we're behind, that's what they tend to do. We lost two players today. We just went further behind. You know, I just feel like jamming themselves, but unfortunately we've got to go back and work now. Come back in the pub when he's got a black eye, she's gonna have it. Where are you going, mate? <laughs> if you would have been here the other week after her birthday, what happened? she had a big shiner. Mavis, what happened? Go on, Mavis. Thought he was just uh, arguing over <laughs> the customer, that's all. <laughs> Male customer, female customer. Female. And what happened? She's just She's worse than anyone. She's always <laughs> fighting her, Mavis. Uh, she's sure, it's just, just throwing the regulars out, you know. Get out, you bastard. These little all loved it, though, the next day. I've got a big shine. Like, oh, you better come with us on the video. William. Come on, come on. You murdered him, son! You murdered him! <laughs> Referee! Salford Snooker's disciplinary record was going from bad to worse following a spate of sendings off. Boise's punishment had come through, a fine and a ban of...